This video will discuss basic gameplay of Towering Roots of the Jungle in the Spirit Island board game. The Spirit is a defensive type spirit that has an Incarna and also introduces the Vitality tokens that prevent Blight placement. Its special rules, Heart Tree Guards the Lands, prevents damage from being dealt to all pieces at its Incarna. This combines with its innates to gather invaders into the land with its Incarna and removing them, using Vitality tokens to prevent Blight that would have been placed by Ravages. Turn 1, use Growth Option 2 to gain a power, add a Vitality, and add a Presence from the bottom track. Play Blooming of the Rocks and Trees, and whichever minor power you gained. The minor power needs to be 0 or 1 cost. We are looking specifically for a power card with Plant and Moon, Plant being the more important so we can get to the 2 plant required for shelter under the towering branches. We could potentially use one of our other unique power cards, but Boon of Resilient Power is better if we can place a Destroyed Presence and Entwine the Fates of All is needed on turn 2. Remember that you can use the land with your Incarna as an origin land for your powers to gain plus 1 range. Place a Vitality token in one of the lands that explored on turn 1. Alternatively, you can stack Vitalities on the Incarna land to go straight for 3 Vitality to empower your Incarna. I prefer not to go straight for the empowered Incarna, just because your Incarna is not super mobile. Turn 2, I would like to play Growth number 3 to play Radiant and Hallowed Grove and Entwine the Fates of All. Place the Presence from the top track to get to 2 energy and put it in the other land that is Ravaging to combo with Entwine the Fates of All. These two cards also give elements for Tier 2 of Shelter Under Towering Trees to gather and explore and Tier 1 of Revoke Sanctuary and Cast Out to remove a town. Also use the Growth option to reposition your Incarna onto a land that will let you target a land with a town with your innate. Reminder that your Incarna counts as a Presence, so you can have one other Presence in the land to create a Sacred Site for targeting. But when you move the Incarna, you have to remove a Presence if you use the Growth option. You can use Boon of Resilient Power to add back your Presence to create a Sacred Site with your Incarna on turn 3. Ideally, we want to get the Incarna to a central land to start gathering invaders more easily. When you have the Incarna in a good place, aim to stack Vitality tokens to empower your Incarna. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.